OnePlus came up with this advertisement well before the launch of the OnePlus 7 Pro, in which the phone was thrown into a bucket of water. The point of the video was to convey that the phone is actually water resistant, but they didn't bother to get a water resistance rating, uh, you know that IP rating, because it costs extra money, somewhere between 10 and 30 dollars per device. And they didn't want to charge us for that or they just wanted to give it to Robert Downey Jr. instead. That's a debate for another day. The main question for the day is, will it actually survive water? Is it truly water resistant? We will test it out. But before that, let me introduce myself. My name is Ashwin Sundar. This is Technology Jock. Guys, this is not a review unit. Uh, I bought this phone and dipping it in water is a huge risk, but I am willing to take that risk for you guys. All I expect from you is a bit of appreciation to keep me going. Just subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon. It takes just two seconds. Now here's what we are gonna do. Simple, just fill a bowl with water, about 600 ml uh, and throw the phone inside. In case you're wondering what I've got on the back of the phone, it's an amazing skin from Capes India, our sponsor for this video. Capes India has a wide variety of cool skins that provide better grip and prevent scratches. Since the 7 Pro is a bulky phone, I personally feel a skin is much better than a back case because these skins don't add a lot of weight or thickness to the phone. They are available for all the latest phones including the Realme 3 Pro and the Redmi Note 7 Pro. And guys, don't forget to check out the latest green camouflage skin. It looks dope. You can use the coupon code TJOCK to get 10% discount on your purchases. Now, it's not like the skin will prevent the phone from water damage, but still, let me remove it. The bowl of water is ready. Let's also have a stopwatch. So guys, here's the phone. It works perfectly fine now. Display works great. Touch screen, uh, rear camera, front camera, all good. Let's now drop it inside. Hey OnePlus, if something happens to the phone, I will demand a review unit from you. Because I have a few more videos planned for the 7 Pro, so hopefully nothing goes wrong. It's been 5 minutes, let's remove it from the bowl and see if everything's fine. Good news, I don't see water trapped inside the lens. In display scanner works fine, no issues with the display either and both front and rear camera are undamaged. Time to put it back in the bowl and wait for another 5 minutes. End of 10 minutes, let me wipe everything off. Uh, in display fingerprint scanner works, no issues with touch screen. Swiping feels smooth, the cameras also seem to be working fine. How about the stereo speakers? Well, quite evidently water did manage to seep into the speaker grills. Uh, you can see water expelling from it continuously. But the audio quality seems okay. Letting it dry for a few more minutes will make it completely alright, I guess. Uh, okay, I'm quite satisfied with the result, but let's put it inside and wait for another 5 minutes. This time with the display on. Let's also play some music. Of course, the audio is muffled since it's submerged now. Uh, should be fine when we take it out.
end of 15 minutes like i said the audio seems to be fine now i don't notice any difference in loudness uh, but guys if you see closely the pop-up selfie camera is not completely hidden a part of it is stuck outside Okay, it seems to be fine now. The fingerprint scanner has no issues recognizing my finger and even after 15 minutes, I don't see any water content inside the lens. Uh, it must have been sealed quite tightly. Good job by OnePlus. Not just that, everything else seems to be working great too. My heart skipped a beat when the pop-up selfie camera didn't hide completely, but it doesn't seem to be causing issues now. Anyway, it's best to dip it in a bag of rice and let it stay there for 24 to 48 hours. All traces of water will be removed completely. So the OnePlus 7 Pro is indeed water resistant. But is there any disadvantage of not having an IP rating? Well, nothing really. Uh, IP ratings are just for peace of mind. Uh, you would know your phone has great chances of surviving if you drop it inside a pool or a bucket of water. But water damage is not even covered under warranty, even those phones with IP68 rating. Here's a collection of warranty terms and conditions of different phones that have IP68 rating, posted by trustedreviews.com. None of them are covered under warranty in case of water damage. Anyway, another important note is, just because my OnePlus 7 Pro survived doesn't mean yours will. Because in this test, the phone was about 7 or 8 centimeters under the water surface, there wasn't huge pressure. If you drop it inside a 10 feet pool by mistake, the chances of damage are more. So just to be on the safer side, make sure whenever you drop it accidentally, take it out as soon as possible, wipe it with a dry cloth and put it inside a rice bag for 24 hours minimum. Occasionally taking an underwater selfie or something like that should be fine. Uh, OnePlus has done a great job here. Even with a seemingly vulnerable component like the pop-up selfie camera, there is absolutely no issue cost. Share this video with your friends and family who have a 7 Pro. More importantly, subscribe to Technology Jock and press the bell icon for notifications. Don't forget to check out Cape Skins, they're super cool. So that's it. Thanks a lot for watching. This is Ashwin Sundar and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.